Less than a month after the company secured a $13 billion contract from the Pentagon, the largest in its history, details have begun to emerge regarding the replacement of the current fleet of Survivable Airborne Operations Centers, SAOC, better known as the E-4B Nightwatch or Doomsday Planes. Sierra Nevada Corp, SNC, confirmed that Boeing 747-8i airliners will be used as the base platform. After analyzing the requirements of the U.S. Air Force, experts concluded that this would be the best choice. Korean Airlines will be the supplier of the aircraft for conversion, selling five units to SNC for $6.75 million. The first of these will arrive in the U.S. in the coming weeks. Korean Air was the last airline to acquire a Boeing 747 passenger aircraft, specifically the MICE 8i variant. The Boeing 747-8i, which is the passenger version of the 747-8, is better than its predecessors in a number of ways. In comparison to older models, the 747-8i uses less fuel, makes less noise, and performs better thanks to its GX engines. The 747-8i can fly farther on a single tank of fuel, which lets airlines fly longer trips without stopping. The 747-8i's body is 5.6 meters longer than the 747-400's, which means it has 66 more seats and 16% more cargo space. The 747-8i basically gives airlines more efficiency, range, and passenger cargo space, which makes it a better choice for long-haul flights from a business point of view. There were only a total of 155 Boeing 747-8 aircraft built across all variants, including the passenger 747-8i. Production ended in 2023. Although the exact number of new SAOCs has not been specified, indications suggest that the fleet will consist of 8 to 10 aircraft. SNC noted, however, that they are prepared to produce as many units as needed. Unlike the previous E-4Bs, which are also built on Boeing 747s, the new SAOCs will feature an open modular architecture, providing greater flexibility for future upgrades. This represents a fundamental shift from the previous approaches to creating such aircraft based on commercial airliners. SNC announced that it would collaborate on this project with industry giants such as Collins Aerospace, FSE Defense, GE Aerospace, Greenpoint Technologies, Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, and Rolls-Royce. As a reminder, in 2020, the U.S. Air Force revealed its intention to replace its E-4Bs by the 2030s as part of the Survivable Airborne Operations Center program. Boeing was initially favored due to its experience in this type of capability. However, due to the inability to reach an agreement with the Pentagon regarding a fixed-price contract, and likely because of delays and cost escalation of the two future presidential aircraft, Air Force One, the company was excluded. Now, do you think Boeing 747-8i models will have spares and maintenance issues after next 10 years? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting topics every day. Please like, share and subscribe for more such stories in the future.